channel and then coaching centers so in last video i explained rating and exchange of gases that is your 11th standard biology 17th chapter and in this video i'm going to explain your that is the 11th standard biology 18th chapter body fluids and circulation so as in breathing and exchange of gases, I said I next, my next video will explain that side of this chapter. So, let's come to the chapter body fluids and circulation. So, blood. So, is split as all you know, blood is a special connective tissue that circulates in pre principal vascular system of a man and other vertebrates, constituting of fluid matrix like plasma and formed elements. So blood as you all know about blood you may have learned in your lower classes from lower classes and plasma. So the liquid part of blood. Six to eight percent of protein is the plasma and lymph. So a clear yellowish slightly alkaline coagulable fluid containing white blood cells in a liquid resembling blood plasma is the your lymph so this was about blood plasma and lymph next heartbeat so the rhythmic contraction and relaxation of the heart which includes one systole or the contraction phase and one dis one diastole or relaxation phase of the heart heartbeat count for one minute in an healthy person is 72 times so heartbeat so that is the rela contraction and relaxation of the heart also you can say it as one systole systole means contraction and one di diastole is the relaxation of the heart and as you all know the heart beats 72 times for one second sorry one minute as you may have learned in your lower classes from your lower classes next cardiac output so what is this cardiac output so the amount of blood that is pumped by heart for per minute for one minute the how much amount of blood that comes out from our heart to the parts of the body is the cardiac output and the value of normal cardiac output normal perception is uh, that may be 72 into 70 that is the 5000 40 milliliter or 5 liter lead comes out from our heart for every one minute okay so this was our cardiac output and uh, here beat our heart beat sorry here there is a mistake the amount of blood that is pumped is electrocardiography is the machine used to record electrocardiograph so that machine that is used to record the electrocardiograph so electrocardiograph so the graph record of the electric current that is produced by the excitation of cardiac muscle it is composed of a p wave qrs wave and t wave of standard so the it is the electrocardiograph uh, gram egc is the graphical record the record the it, refer, it is the graphical record of the electric current produced by the excitation of cardiac muscle the cardiac muscle that is present in you know, that excision how much it uh, excels uh, for uh, it is contracting and relaxation like that so you may have learned uh, here sometimes about the electrocardiogram like that so human blood corpus corpus Class, class. So, name. So, erythrocytes or BC. So, 4.5 to 5.5 million cubic milliliters of blood should be there. And structure, yellow circle or uh, e or like this. And lifespan. So, formed from birth onwards by bone marrow. That lifespan is 120 days. And function transport of oxygen. So, this is the oxygen. Sorry, RBC red blood cells should have should be 4.5 to 5.5 million per cube milliliter of blood should be there okay the cubes uh, or the million per cube each milliliter blood should be there and that will transport the blood and it is the transport the oxygen and that is in the bone marrow also formed from the birth onwards by the bone marrow it is
5000 to 8000 so here in uh, rbc 4.5 to 5.5 million per cube but here 5000 to 8000 per cubic millimeter and it acts as a soldier that protects from uh, uh, the diseases and lymph nodes so as you know if uh, all the wbc should be there doctors sometimes when you get more weak the viral infection sometimes when you get uh, the doctor says the uh, platelet rate and the uh, wbc rate is less like the doctor says because it fights as for, for fights against the disease our by that only the power body fights against the diseases so next is agranulocytes that is lymphocytes so it is 20 to 45 percent large round nucleus so it is for, from bone marrow and life few days to months or even even years and it is non phagocytic say uh, secret antibodies and next is monocytes monocytes 2 to 10 percent it is and largest of all bean shaped nucleus it is like bean shaped so you may have seen the beans like that it will be and bone marrow is like uh, its lifespan is uh, 10 to 20 hours only 10 to 20 hours is its lifespan and granulocytes so granulocytes in that so here different types is the one is adrenocytes and granulocytes so now you learn about adrenocytes that is about lymphocytes and monocytes in granulocytes you learn about the eosinophils that is 1 to 6 percent so bivalve nucleus it has bivalve nucleus and bone marrow lifespan is 4 to 8 hours in the plates it has and asophils that is 0 to 1 percent it is present and three lobed nucleus it has and the bone marrow's that time is for 4 to 8 hours it is that same and release heparin and histamine this it releases this hormone uh, next neutrophils so 40 to 75 percent it, uh, it is present and many lobed nucleus fine granule is present and it is 4 to 8 hours in the blood bone marrow life is 4 to 8 hours in the blood it is next platelets so 1000 sorry 1 lakh so platelets in the thermobocytes it has 1 lakh 50 thousand to 3 lakh 50 thousand millimeter cube of blood they are colorless rounded or oval like that and bone marrow about a week and helps in blood uh, uh, bone marrow in a week so this was about the platelets so and uh, the two types that is the granulocytes agranulocytes and that is leukocytes and the erythrocytes sites so this is the thing you learned next limp so now the limp let's come to our the limp so the colorless mobile fluid connective tissue that drains into the lymphatic capillaries from the intercellular spaces so that uh, uh, colorless that is colorless fluid it is a connective tissue that colorless fluid that connects to the fluid that connects the fluid and the composition it is composed of fluid matrix plasma white blood uh, corpus or leukocytes white blood is also called as leukocytes and red blood also called is as erythrocytes and the function so this may ask they may ask in your final exam function transport digested fats it contains lymphocytes and antibiotics and it drains excess tissue fluid from the extracellular space uh, spaces back into the blood it will come next human heart so it is the mesodermally derived organ situated in thoracic cavity in between two lungs between two lungs it is situated okay as you all know this you may have learned in your lower classes so the it has four chamber okay that is two or uh, atria and two ventricles two atria and ventricles that is left and right left atrial right atrial and two uh, ventricles that is the left ventricle and right ventricle and inner atria arterial septum separates the two arterial and in uh, interventriculum septum separates the two ventricle 
while the artery and ventricles are separated by atrio ventricle spectrum by this it is separated they both are separated the left and right are separated the you may have seen the art diagram so one minute here then uh, given so one minute only. so here that separates the center one is the atrio so inner arterial septum separates the two artery artery and inner vector ventricular septum separates the two ventricles so the two chambers so here see the out the here arterial ventricle here see pulmonary vein artery right atrium left atrium right ventricle left ventricle so here you can see like that only next and ventricle is bicruxid or mitral value so it will be less value next the uh, opening of right and left ventricle into the pulmonary artery and the outer are guarded by the semilunar value so by they are seen by the semilunar values how oh, whether we should leave or not and the values allow the flow of blood only in one direction only in one direction it glow it goes so blood clotting how it happens so injured tissue releases into tissue tissue releases and here from here the blood platelets platelets releases and disintegrate and they releases and thermoplastin and platelet pla thermoplastin ca plus uh, plus protein ca plus protein so proto binase so it will combine and proto binase ca gives thromobin and from that catalyst fibrinogen and fibrin it will become and from fibrin plus blood cell will be get clot like this it will fibrin sin plus blood cells make the blood clot and as you know when you get uh, injured that time there will be after sometimes when you see there will be blood clot so this is the process happened from injured tissue release uh, injured tissue releases and here blood platelets are releases and they both make the thermo the uh, injured tissue is the thermo thermoplastin and the blood blood cells that release is the platelet thermoplastin so they both combines and become proto protorobinase and protorobinase is become thrombin and that thrombin will catalyst and it will become fibrinogen that fibrin it will become and fibrin plus the blood cells will make the blood to become be clot so now blood groups so blood groups a b and a and b and o none a anti body in plasma so anti b anti a and none of that and anti a and anti b are present in o antibodies that fights against and possible recipients recipients having blood group a comma a b b a b a b o a a b and a b they can give this much like blood groups they like uh, that they have and prospective donors having blood group so a uh, they have o a o b o a b a b and o o only they can as you may have heard o blood group can only donor to o only o blood group only sometimes they may you may have heard next orh system so it was orh it was discovered by landsteiner and weiner in 1940 these both scientists discovered this and the antigen found on the surface of rbcs the presence of antigen is the rh positive and the absence of antigen is rh minus means negative next san that is sino arterial node so a patch of tissue present in the right upper corner of right atrium is the san and avn is the atrioventricular node so a mass of tissue seen in the lower left corner of the right uh, right atrium close to the close to the anterior vector uh, anterior way went to respond is the avn so this is the difference next heart value so trans so tricuspid value so the value formed of three muscular flaps or cups which guard the opening between the right atrium and right ventricle the opening the rate that we get is the tricuspid value 
and by scoped value that are the my mutual value so here you will get mutual value what is here so here you will get the tripos cube so tripos cube you will learn that is right atm and right ventricle the value you get and mikus cube is the the value we get between the left atm and left ventricle is the viscous pit value or the mitral mitral value we can also say and semilunar value so the values present at the opening of the right and left ventricles and allow the entry of blood into pulmonary veins and aorta is is about the semilunar values and reading of pcg so p waves represent the electrical excitation or depolarization of the atria and leads to concentration of both the atria so they tells us about whether it is increasing or decreasing and o or s complex so represent the depolarization of the ventricles which emulates the ventricle contraction and t way represent the return of the ventricle from excited to normal state and the end of t way marks to uh, marks the end of cytol the t way uh, t waves ends and double circulation so passes of same blood twice throughout the heart in order to complete one cycle if it is passed two times then it is the double circulation and the blood pumped by the ventricle in transported through pulmonary artery to lungs where co2 is exchanged with o2 co2 and it will exchange so like that next disorder in circulation system the main is high blood pressure that is also tell us hypertension sometimes it really results from narrowing of artificial lumen and reduce elasticity of arterial wall so there will be no elastic there will be no elasticity in the arterial walls in the after after the old age so in, uh, in this cause of repetering of capillaries it is silent killer it is like a silent killer they may die sometimes coronary arterial disease cad a thero slow uh, thero sclerosis the supply of blood to heart muscles is affected so the supply of blood to heart muscles when the, the blood is supplied it is affected is the uh, cad next angina so next is angina pectoris that is caused by atherosclerosis when no enough oxygen is reaching heart muscle due to which the person experience acute chest pain so because uh, you may have got sometimes the chest pain this is because sometimes you may have not getting the oxygen that may, uh, how much it is needed and heart attack that is caused when the heart muscle is suddenly damaged by an inadequate blood supply the heart muscle is damaged when more blood is supplied suddenly or cardiac next is cardiac arrest so the stage in which the heart stop breathing next atherosclerosis the state of hardening of arteries and arterioles due to thickness of fibrous tissue and consequent loss of elasticity so there is be really tissue release but there will be no elasticity in the muscle when the blood goes you may see in the uh, in the movie sometimes or in the some heart video you may have seen that the blood will be heart will be elasticated and then it will come to normal so that way it will be beat means heart will be beating next so here they have asked the question so by now we will understand that and others uh, you may have understand so by that you can see the question here you can uh, you can uh, know your right answer or you can search in your test book and you can write the answer for this question so i think you have uh, understand this chapter and you have saw the question so okay friends i will see my next video explaining the next chapter that is a uh, excretory products and their elimination so excretory product and their elimination that here you will learn about the amenotic uh, excretory amine ammonia and uh, urea uric acid how the excretory happens about kidney and uh, ne- uh, nephron you will learn so i will explain this in my next video so about this chapter the uh, the body 
so about this chapter the body fluids and circulation you understand about the i think uh, so in this chapter they may ask the questions one marks two marks and three marks so and also five marks also there may be possible so read it correctly see the diagram of art be well perfect in writing the diagram of the art so okay friends i think you understand this chapter and solve that question or write the answer that question or one time you may after seeing this video after seeing that question one time you revise the uh, in your mind and tell the tell to uh, try to tell the answer in your mind only so okay friends like the video comment on the subscribe channel and question center for more video i will see my next video explaining another chapter